Hi everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10 today. Today's kind of an exciting day for me. Um, I hit 100 subscribers, so yay for me, that's today um, I'm going to do a giveaway for that, but I'll talk about that more later near the end. Right now, let's talk about some other things. So I have my coffee here today. Oh, it's delicious. It's very cold here today. I think it's about minus 16 degrees. I mean, it does get a lot colder here. It, it goes down to like minus 30 sometimes. Um, it gets so cold that your skin hurts and the inside of your nose and mouth hurt to breathe when you go outside. It does get very cold, but this is still cold. <laughs> so I'm feeling a little chilly today. So I put on my Sunday morning wrap. Uh, it's a pattern by Espace Tricot and I knit it with the Sunday morning DK yarn from Espace Tricot. Um, it's in the colorway online. It's a very simple, relaxing, repetitive pattern to knit. I knitted this summer while I was on vacation in the Muskokas. And um, it's just got a lot of stock in it um, with um, alternating with twisted rib. So very nice, very relaxing, and it's nice and cozy. Keeps me nice and warm when it's chilly like this. Okay, so we did go out and run some errands and my husband picked this up. I don't know if you guys know what this is. These are Tim Beebs. <laughs> you can smell that, can't you, Molly? Sorry. These are Tim Beebs. <laughs> So they're kind of um, a bit of a joke in Canada because, well, first of all, they come from Tim Hortons coffee shop, which if you live in Canada, there is a Tim Hortons coffee shop on every corner. They're somewhat equivalent to, not, not Starbucks, they're somewhat equivalent, I would say, to Dunkin' Donuts in the US. Um, I'm not sure what the European equivalent would be. They're not the equivalent of Starbucks. We have Starbucks here and they don't have um, expensive, super fancy coffees like Starbucks does. Although they do have some, some fancy coffees. They're just, they're not, uh, they're definitely not equivalent to Starbucks. Um, they're not so much, uh, Tim Hortons is not a fashionable place to go. It's almost a necessity. Um, Canadians, I think, drink more coffee than a lot of countries and it probably has to do with our climate. So whenever people are out running errands or out and about, it's very frequent to stop in at Tim Hortons and grab a coffee, um, especially through when you don't have to get out of your car so you can just go through the takeout window. Um, oftentimes you'll run into a, a Tim Hortons on one block, literally drive one block further and there's a Tim Hortons on the other side of the street and both of them the drive throughs are completely full and that goes on all day long <laughs> so I would say Canadians kind of have a love-hate relationship with Tim Hortons people either absolutely love it or they think it's garbage <laughs> so my husband stopped at Tim Hortons yesterday and picked up this box of Tim Beebs which I had never heard of um I did not realize that Tim Hortons and Justin, and <laughs> I'm not sponsored by the way, but I did not realize that T Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber had like a, a collaboration going on. So Tim Hortons is uh, known for their Tim bits, which are the equivalent of donut holes. So if you go to any other type of donut shop, you'd probably order a donut hole. At Tim Hortons, you order a Tim bit, but, because of this collaboration that Justin Bieber has with 
Tim Hortons. They're now called Tim Beebs and they're <laughs> Canadians have now affectionately begin started calling them <laughs> Bieber balls. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. I asked him when he went through the drive through if he asked for Bieber balls and no, he did not ask for Bieber balls. <laughs> Apparently there are a lot of tip talks out now though of people going through the Tim Hortons drive through asking for Bieber balls. <laughs> Anyways, I'll move on. Let's talk about Advents. So, um, might as well just get started, right? I think most of you who have been tuning into the Vlogmases are already familiar with the Advent that I have. This one is an Art Yarn Advent from Sweet Nesting. So far I've been pulling a lot of really unusual different types of yarn because they're Art Yarns. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. So I, I hope you can see the colors on that because they're really so pretty. All these beautiful pastel peaches, pinks, mint greens, cream, like those are super gorgeous and really blend well. So let's look at these. They're like, they remind me of like a candy shop or an ice cream shop because of all the uh, fun colors. So I hope you can see that. I did run out to Michael's last night to try and get some of the materials that I needed to um, make the Christmas decoration that I had planned to make with some of these art yarns. I was uh, kind of surprised by how empty a lot of the shelves were there. Um, I needed a couple of floral, uh, not florals, but um, like pine sprigs, fake fake pine sprigs uh, from the floral department and their floral department was decimated. There was nothing there, very few items and none of them Christmas Christmassy. So I may have to change my vision, but I can, I can still do it. It's just gonna be a little bit different than what I originally thought. And again, uh, when I do work on that, I, I'll make a video of it and I'll share it with you. So moving to the L'Occitane Cosmetic calendar. We are on day 10. So this says Aqua Ultra Thirst Quenching Cream. And that looks really nice. And I love to smell these things. Oh, it smells fresh. It's it's very nice. Very, very nice. Yep, that smells lovely actually. And then, so I've been pulling a lot of like these beautiful skeins from the Koi Goo set. Um, again, it was a, a, a set of 24 mini skeins that I ordered and uh, my daughter made it into an advent calendar for me at my request. We're on a roll with the pinks and the oranges. This is so beautiful. So this this skein definitely ranges in color from a very dark, dark cherry pink. Almost there's there are definitely it goes all the way to the red in a few spots, and there's orange and lighter pinks. That's very pretty. Really nice goes with the set very very well and then I'm going to well first of all I'm going to take a drink of my coffee and then I'm going to open day 10 of my toy shirt sheet
it's a pattern. So it's a printed out pattern. The pattern is by Michelle Hunter and it includes a video lesson of the tuck stitch. I'm going to close it up so you can't see the pattern. I don't know if you'll be able to see um, a picture of the hat, but it's the blowing bubbles hat. Very pretty. I could see myself knitting that, that's really cool. What a great idea for an advent. So, something else I wanted to share with you guys is a package that I received today. So, I placed an order with Timber Yarns, which is a Canadian yarn dyer out of Ontario. Just want to be very careful and not cut the yarn. So I thought I would open it with you. I'm kind of excited. I ordered a few skeins of self-striping yarn. Okay, this is really nice. Oh, this is really nice. I will share them with you one at a time, if that's okay, if you will indulge me. Sorry, I guess that's a lot of crinkling. I personally like the sound of crinkling, but I know it bothers some people, so I'll try and stop that. Okay. So there's a little note. Oh! Aww. There's a really nice hand, hand knit note. There's a really nice handwritten note. So on the front it says, thank you for your purchase. I have included a small gift to show my appreciation. May your inner creativity shine, Timber Yarns. And then on the back, there's a handwritten note. Thank you so much for your wonderful, wonderful order, Pamela. We really appreciate your business. Don't forget to share pictures on um, Instagram using hashtag Timber Yarns, warm wishes, Heather's palm. It's Pat. I got a note from Heather's mom, Pat. That's awesome. Okay, that's super sweet. And my invoice. And then, like, holy. My little gift is like candy cane hot chocolate oh double truffle i don't even know if you can see that double truffle hot chocolate and salted caramel hot chocolate hello this will have to go at my coffee bar I like having hot chocolate at my coffee bar also for another option and you know what i don't always think of making hot chocolate i think of making coffee always and i think of making tea sometimes but i very rarely think of making hot chocolate my daughter loves hot chocolate though okay let's have a look at these okay these are really special so this first one this first one is called sweet and savory so these are wound into um, two single skeins of 50 grams or 200 meters of a fingering weight so that your socks will match if you decide to make socks. I don't know if this will, I think because these are so nice, I'm actually going to take pictures of these individually and then pop them up on the screen as I'm talking about them because I think that just holding them up, I don't think will do them justice. This one has uh, cream colors, aubergine, gold, saffron, mustard, like this is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. I 
I feel like I want to do something other than socks with this because it's just so nice. And then going in a completely different direction. Oh, they included a little progress keeper on there. Oh, it's got a little, it says elf. There's a little elf progress keeper. That's so nice. This one is called, oh, this one is called Those Crazy Elves. I don't know if you can see again the colors. These are bright neon, this is a bright neon rainbow of colors. Teal, lime green, hot pink, purple, and white. And um, these are, I mean, I don't know how she does this because this is just gorgeous. None of these colors are muddy. They're all amazingly gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Part of the reason why I wanted to order some self-striping yarn for myself is because I've been seeing a lot of projects on different blogs and podcasts about other things that you can do with self-striping yarn. So Muscleboro hats, for example, Lisa from 72 Stitches has done some beautiful, at least one for sure that I've seen, Muscleboro hat with self-striping yarn. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can do other types of hats with self-striping yarn. You can add them into shawls. There's just so many things that I hadn't thought of previously. Of course, you can always do the socks because that's what they're designed for. Going back to a more neutral palette. And this one, has, this one has a progress keeper on it as well, which is a little star. And this one is called Woodlot. And it's got like black, brown, grays, all these beautiful neutral, neutral tones that just blend together. And again, this would make a stunning hat. This is so nice, beautiful. Okay, I have an idea for this one. So this one is called Optimistic. It's got a similar vibe to this one, but this, this one is definitely more neon pop, whereas this one are similar colors, but a deeper, richer, almost jewel tone. And I really want to use this for the Loopy Shawl. I think it's called the Loopy Shawl by Casapinka. Um, I think I would like to match this with a gray, and I think this would look really stunning. Definitely, I want to... A project I want to do in the uh, upcoming new year. There, here's another um, progress keeper. This one says Timber Yarns and the colorway is Log Cabin. Again, beautiful neutrals but interspersed with some nice mustard and aubergine. Um, it's got a really different vibe than this one. They have some similarities in that they're both beautiful, rich tones, but they also have some differences too. And uh, they're gorgeous. They're, they're just absolutely gorgeous. And last but not least, and this one, the little Purpose Keeper says, Happy Place. And the uh, colorway is Exquisite. And I think this was one of their Easter colorways but I just loved the pastel colors and I just felt like there was so much I could do you want to come in up here I just felt like there was so much I could do with this besides socks I could do socks but I could do other things as well I'm a fan of pastels now uh thanks to watching Aro from Aro Knits and Pearls she has a beautiful aesthetic uh, which is mostly pastels and I didn't think I was a fan of pastels till I watched her podcast and now I definitely am. When I see the beautiful things that she creates, how could you not be? Hey everyone, me again. I almost forgot to talk about the 100 subscriber giveaway. Before I get into it too much, I just wanna say that I'm extremely grateful that there are 100 people out there who took the time to watch some of my videos and subscribe to my channel to think that there are a hundred people who actually enjoy my 
little corner of the internet makes me extremely happy. So to show my appreciation, I wanted to do a 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I have this really beautiful yarn. It's hand dyed yarn by Moon Drape. I'm going to pop a close up in so that you can see it more clearly. But it's Moon Drake hand dyed yarn. It is a soft DK 100% superwash merino four ply. And the colors are just gorgeous. They have all these different shades of blue and teal and uh, even mint and pale green right up to these really interesting bright orange pops of color and orange and blue really um, complement each other well. So I bought this on a whim when I was actually buying a kit for a shawl and I popped it into my cart just because I thought it was so beautiful, but I didn't actually have a plan for it. I have been hoarding it and it doesn't deserve to be hoarded. It should be used. So I would like to give this uh, skein of yarn away to one of you. Um, you can be in Canada or international. I do not mind paying for the shipping to get it to you. If there are any duties that need to be paid on the recipient's end, uh, you would need to take care of that. But I would cover the shipping costs, of course, so that you get your beautiful skein of yarn. So in order to win this skein of yarn, you need to do three things. You need to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. You need to like this video and you need to leave a comment telling me your favorite Christmas movie your, or your favorite holiday movie or your favorite feel good movie if you don't celebrate Christmas or any of the holidays. If you just have a really fun feel good movie and it's your favorite pop it in the comments and you will be entered to win. So you need to comment on this video before the 23rd day of Vlogmas because that is the day that I will close the giveaway and use a random name generator to pick a winner. So thank you very much for subscribing and good luck.